So what's up, YouTube? This is uh, your boy Alpha Trader again, coming out with a few updates on the market. Uh, today was a crazy, crazy day, man. You guys, I made about 20, 30K during the day. It was insane. I know some of you guys uh, make crazy gains today as well. So, I mean, just all blessings and, um, you know, just uh, get back at it tomorrow. Just a quick update on what happened today. So, man, we'll, we'll go a little over on how I made this crazy 20, 30K today. But um, quick today on SPY. Today, it was a pretty, pretty clear downtrend today. Uh, you know, we already, we had a gap app on the pre-market where, you know, like saying, again, we were, we were already on a downtrend. So you guys got to keep, keep in mind those things. You know, you guys never want to go against the trend. So it was pretty obvious that the, the, the you know the gaps were gonna be filled, but in pre-market half of the gap was already filled. Uh, hence why I gave you guys the level, because it was it was meeting my my support level right there. At uh, it was at 383.41. I gave you guys the level. So once you break the level, you guys can see a uh, market opening. Uh, it was a little bit undecisive, right? It was still like, you know, going between the line, touching the 20 May, et cetera. But uh, we, we, I used it one minute because again, and when the trend is very clear, you know, you don't want to weigh a lot. When I was looking at my one minute at around 9.35, 9.34, I was already closing below this red candles over here. This would already close and below VWAP on the 20 May. But again, I always tell you guys, and I preach this, uh, don't go, you know, don't jump into play like at open. You know, you always want to wait for confirmation on the on the direction, right? So we have this pump in the morning, which is normal, you know, uh, morning volatility. And then again, at 9.43, we had this candle close below the 20 May and the VWAP. So that was for me my confirmation to go puts. Uh, it was already, it already broke. It was already recording below my level, like what I gave you guys on the morning, and it was already below my board, my indicators, my BWAP on my 20 May. So that was my entry at 303 .07 around that price. That's when I got my puts, and you know, there you go. And from 9083, we went all down to 381. So that was a two dollar move from the spot. This was already a big, you know, big, big move. So we made some money, pretty good money here. Now, you gotta think. That again, this is this works the same. The trend doesn't go go down straight down, or you know, stock doesn't go up straight up. You know, it was gonna have bounces, it's gonna have you know, uh, fake outs, etc. Here, we saw that really bounce a little bit from the 32 area, and it re uh, re well, the 20 main and go rejected, and it went down again. But again, it started bouncing. It. So he for here, that's when you got to be able to identify patterns, right? This is where you can clearly see a double bottom right here, one here and the second one here. And we had a small rally, right? All the way from 381 to uh, 383. But again, we could see how was not able to uh, have a clear breakout, right? And about that resistance level. So we had a rejection there. So once we saw this, when when you see this kind of things, this is when you want to average it out. If you, if you didn't sell here, which you should have, because again, this is why always you guys want to take profits, right? You don't, you guys don't want to lose all those profits and on this run, right? You would want to have to trim your position here and get out some money out, take up some money out of the table. If you didn't, for any case, for any instance, this is where you want to average down, right? This is where you should have averaged down at this rejection of the, this uh, support, which it became a resistance, right? So now then when you saw this big, big reaction here, uh, this is where you should be in start like averaging down, right? Once it closed below the BWAP, which is uh, around, what it was, this was around 1040. This red candle over here was your confirmation again to get more puts at 382.61. If you get puts here, then you get all the move down. From 382, we went all the way down to 380, slowly but steady, right? We keep down trending below the 20 May, which is, Everything that you need, you know. Again, this is don't. This is why I tell you don't fight the trend. If it's going down, and you guys are seeing that we're below twenty, minutes, don't fight it. You just, you gotta write it down, right? Uh, I mean, this was pretty much spy today, and you can go back to your to your uh, to your five minute, and again, you guys can see those kind of things on the five minute as well. It was pretty clear on the five minute. 
not much to fight. See how you guys in the five minutes, you guys can see here the rejection of the fall resistance. We close below 20 with the B WAP on the 20 main all the way down. Right. So again, this was a pretty nice, pretty nice trade today. Uh, I hope you guys made money on this. This is where I made my crazy gain today. This is called SLNO. Um, again, this is why you, it's very important. You guys have to, you guys have to make your DD and you know research on what why any stock is moving. You know, you you guys can go blind on any stock, right? You guys have to, you know, see the news, see what's the catalyst in it, right? So here I went to look in the morning and I saw that this company it was having a sixty million committing on finance, right? When I saw that, I was like, "This is one dollar stock." I'm like, "This is huge for the you know for you know for this kind of company." I mean, did you know it, it? It was it was like less than a dollar in pre market, uh, you know, like it was eighty five cents, and then you pump for the news. So I was like, "No, there's no way this is gonna be done." But again, you know, following my TA, uh, making my lines, in the morning I saw this. Pop it here to 146 resistance. You know, it went down again, it tried again, and then it went and it got rejected again. So for me, that was a double top. So throwing my last one in the pre market support, I had my uh, 116 support. So after the double top happened here, and I saw that it wasn't able to, you know, break the 20 May, uh, this was my entry. I got this stock around 130, 135, and then I was like, you know, adding the dips, you know, the pullbacks. At the end, I think I ended up like with like 133 average. And around, like I said, once we reclaimed the BWAP and close above the 20 minute, this was game over. Like there was a, there was a non stop, it was a bonus stop, like way, way parabolic. Like it went from 136 to 242. I mean, it was like a 90% move from here. And like, what, like 20 minutes and 50 minutes? So this is where I made like around 20, 30, 20, 25K. This, and it was insane, man. I, I did. Uh, alerted this play on my, you know, on, on, on my chat. So, I mean, you guys are missing out, but I'm saying, you know, you, you guys got to check it out. Uh, it was insane. Later on, I mean, even later on, we played a double top, right? But you could have played the bounce on the BWAP. And after touching this resistance, it pulled back to BWAP. You could have bought in this uh, bounce from BWAP and then scalp it like from 177 to the retest of the system to 40. So that was not pretty decent move right there. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me at HLBC, and I think I was pretty clear with my post in the morning. Uh, I mean, I'm not living. I mean, you say I already committed to this. Uh, like I said, this is definitely, definitely a lot of risk involved, but I do believe in the company, guys. And like I said, I, it, and this is for me like a 20% of my portfolio. So you guys have to consider that. You know, I, I understand that this is where you never want to go on a stock like you want to fool for you put your full your entire portfolio in one place because if it goes down like this then you're gonna be bleeding a lot you know you're gonna be like stuck in there you're like what am i gonna do now i'm down a lot you know i'm gonna start to loss i don't want to sell right i mean this is high risk plays you want to put like a small part of your portfolio and then, you know see what's gonna happen you know again i made my dd i believe in the company and you know i just average now i think my average now is like a what uh 18 now so, I mean, I'm just keeping adding these huge tips, you know, I'm just holding it up and see what's going to happen. Eventually, like I said, I, I do believe in the company. Uh, it's just that we have, uh, have plenty of time, you know. The CEO already posted they have the, you know, the, uh, the what is it, the meeting with the NASDAQ on the new Q1. And you guys can see on the daily, though, this is very important, though, because in the daily, we already close with a doji. And the doji, indicates uh, a trend reversal, right? So what's the current trend already? We are on a downtrend. So what tells me this is that this might be the start of a, a reversal trend, right? We already have a couple gaps to fill. You know, we already have a gap here from the 14 to the 15. And later on, we have another gap up here. But again, this is very important. It is actually pretty good because we haven't seen a green candle in a while now. And uh -huh. this being a doji is very important. So again, I'm, I'm just, you know, getting my risk together and then you're just gonna see what it takes me but i mean i do believe in the company i mean we're already we're over so we're at 34.32 rsi so i mean i think i believe it's just matter of time but again this is my own risk uh you know i'm not financial advisor at all you know i'm just telling you guys what uh 
my opinion on this, but you guys are you know free to do what you guys decide is the best for your money and you know your investments. All right, guys. So I mean, you guys have any questions? You know, you guys can DM me. You know, put in the comments. You know, I'm reading you guys. I'm answering you guys. Uh, you guys know the rest. You know, the link to my community and the website in the description. You know, follow on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You know, we're active over there. Uh, you know, all the, the team is there. You know, for you guys, I'm I'm here for you guys. So, anytime, guys. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye.